Today I'm going to show you how to get tinfoil as well as the freeware shop on your Nintendo Switch. Before I get started, I must mention that you do need a jailbroken Switch running custom firmware. Now if you don't have that or you don't know what that is or you don't know if your Switch is capable of doing that, I have a link in the description down below to a video that will show you how to do that and how to check if your Nintendo Switch is capable and compatible with custom firmware. Now, if you've done this before or it's been a while, then you probably want to get some updated files and get a little bit of a refresher, make sure that everything is up and working. You could go to sigmapatches.su. From here, you could get updated sig patches. You could get an AIO, which is this right here. It's an all in one. It's going to have everything you need, atmosphere. It's going to have the tinfoil file. It's going to have all the updated files download that put it to your sd card and you should be good to go now of course that aio is only for people who have done this before and they know that their switch is capable you're just running some older files and you just need an update this is good for anybody if you happen to run into an update and you just want to grab the, the newest files this is the website you're going to need for that if you happen to run into an error with tinfoil when you're trying to download it or download games sick patches are most likely required so this is where you get those updated files there other than that we're going to go to tinfoil.io slash download and this is where we're going to get the tinfoil file that we need so you're going to scroll down so you see this here the self installer as of right now it's on version 17.0 when you watch this it may be newer but this is what we need, the self-installer. Go ahead and click that and you'll get this folder right here. So it's gonna be zips, just go ahead and right click and extract and uh, that's what we need. So wait for that to extract. You'll have this right here with a folder called switch. That's exactly what we want. Now take your SD card, put it into your computer. And you're gonna go ahead and find that next. So I have my SD card right here with all the files that I need. Take that switch folder, put it onto your SD card. Mine is saying replace files because I already had done this just to test it, make sure everything was working. But I'm gonna go ahead and click replace the files. You most likely won't have to do this. So just put that switch folder into the SD card and we'll continue from there. All right, so once that's done, just go ahead and eject your SD card from the computer. Put it into your switch, run Tegra RCM and push your payload and then go into your custom firmware and we'll continue from there. So once your switch is booted up and you're running jailbreak, you can go over to album, click on that and you should have the tinfoil installer if you've done everything properly. Go ahead, click on that. It's going to install tinfoil to your switch and then it should boot up. Now I already have that here, so I'm going to go ahead and start that program up. Now, when you do start it up for the first time and each time after that, it is going to have to load everything. So it's going to have to load any shop that you may have. It's going to load uh, different things. So you have here like the Libra re uh, Retro ROMs. You have uh, the XG Save Project. It's going to have to load that each time. So if you don't, if you want, you can go ahead and delete those and it'll just load a little bit faster. But just keep that in mind. Now, once you're in Tinfoil, you're going to go ahead and go over to File Browser. You're gonna go over one and you can press the minus key to enter new. Now, if you made it this far, make sure to go ahead and drop a like, subscribe for more videos. And if you happen to have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. But I'm gonna go ahead and just warn you real quick that not all shops stay up forever. So as this shop is working now, it may not work next week, it may not work tomorrow. So if the shop ever does happen to go down, feel free to follow me on Twitter or subscribe to this channel and I'll update you for whenever the shop does go down and a new one does happen to come up I'll give you a heads up on that but once you're here just go to the protocol you're gonna go to HTTPS go all the way down to there for hosts you're gonna go to NX dot ghostlands G H O S T land L A N D go ahead and type that in and then dot at A T Go ahead and press the start button and then we're going to go to title and you can pretty much title this anything you want. So I'm going to go ahead and title this ghost. You can title this ghost land. You can title the ghost. You can just leave it as a blank. I'm going to go ahead and press start and then I'm going to press the X button to save. Now press it once. Don't touch anything after that. It's going to look like it froze. It's going to look like it's doing nothing, but be sure that it is actually doing something. So it's gonna load and it's gonna refresh and it's gonna load the Ghostland shop. Like I said, press X once, don't touch anything after that. It's gonna feel like it's frozen, it's not frozen. But if you did everything correctly, you should get this success pop up here. Press okay, and you should now have a new games tab 
on any file browser there where you could go ahead and download what you need to download, make your backups, things like that. So if you happen to have any questions, like I mentioned, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. But that's pretty much it for today. If this video hit you, helped you out, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more. Like I said, go ahead and check me out on Twitter for when these shops do go down. I'll give you a heads up and an update for new ones or if there are any new ones. Like I said, these shops don't stay up forever, but when they do go down, I'll let you know. And when a new one comes up, I'll give you a heads up. So thank you so much for watching. Hope to catch you on the next one. Peace.